Good morning, young people. I uh, apologize for bailing on you guys on such a cold day, but it makes me feel better. I didn't know it was going to be cold today. Um, so I'm just going to work out a couple of problems from this packet just so you guys kind of have an idea of what to expect tomorrow. But again, tomorrow the biggest thing is knowing when to use which rule or what formula. So the first ones are pretty straightforward. It's finding the area. I think you, these are the ones that you guys really, really liked um, where you've got the uh you got it set up perfectly because you got both sides and you know the angle in between so that's pretty straightforward you just do one half times the two sides times sine of the angle in between a um, couple of things that y'all forget is to put sine or you forget to check to make sure your calculator matches the mode so this is degrees therefore your calculator should be degrees so I just check that before you substitute that into the calculator. All right. Um, then we've got problem like number three. Um, just some basic rules. Usually you're going to get three parts of information, and you're going to be asked to find a side or an angle. Okay. If you've given more than three pieces of information, you kind of have a choice. Okay. You kind of have a choice on what you want to use. Um, and so that's a simple kind of idea, uh, but we'll kind of mess with that a little bit. So you've got two sides. If you've got two sides, go ahead and find the third one. Um, for this one, it just so happens to be 90 degrees, right? Um, and so you only know you only know one side. You know all the angles, which only know one side. Um, so we're gonna do see if we've got opposite angles, opposite sides. So we've got one pair right there where we know both of them. And then for DF. We do know the angle that's opposite of that. So we'll go ahead and use both of those to set up our ratio. So we're going to use the law of sine or law of sine rule here. That's going to be uh, sine of 90 over 30 equals sine of 30 over x. So again, the sine rule is whenever we've got those opposite angles and opposite sides. Okay, and y'all can solve for x from there. Okay, I'm a little bit of a time restraint, so I'm not going to solve finish solving these. I'm just going to set a few up. <clears throat> but yeah, always a, always a good idea whenever you first see your problem. If you know two angles, then you technically know the third. So always go ahead and find a third, even if you might not need it. Um, so like for four. If I find it, let's see, it's 145, so this has to be 35, but I won't need that, okay? I won't need it um, because I'm looking for EF, so I don't technically need to know this angle, but it's always good to find it. You never know. <clears throat> All right, let's look at some other ones. Uh, like the ones where we have to draw the triangle. Let's practice drawing a triangle real quick. So for number seven, let's draw a triangle. It says triangle X, Y, Z. Doesn't matter where you put them. Okay, it doesn't matter how you draw it. What really matters is how you label it. So we've got to label angle X 95 degrees. So that's got to be on the correct placement. So that's 95 degrees. Angle C, Z is 45. So obviously this picture is way off, but that's fine. And side Z is 22. So remember, side Z is opposite of angle Z. And that's going to be 22. Side Y is going to be 20. And we want to find X. So here's X. Okay. So again, I know two angles. Therefore, I know three angles. Um, so that's a 95. Um, so that's 140, so this is 40, and I can go ahead and see that I know the angle opposite of X, and then I have either pair, and this is where y'all struggle with, when you get so much information that you don't know what to do, okay, it doesn't matter, okay, you've got the angle opposite of X, which is what you're looking for, and uh, you have two pairs of angles and opposite sides. So just pick one. Uh, I'll pick, I'll do Y. So I'll say sine of 40 over 20 is equal to 
sine of 95 over x. So I did y, sine of angle y over y equals sine of angle x over x. Uh, you could have also done z here. You could have also done law of cosines, I think. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. You could have also done law of cosines here. But it's again, these are the ones where you have some choice. And there might be problems like that where you get to choose which one. As long as you use whichever one you choose correctly, you'll be fine. Um, all right. So we've got like number 11, number 12. You, Because you have three sides at an angle, you actually have choices here. Um, whether you want to use law of sine or law of cosine. Okay, so I'm going to leave that up to you all. Um, let me just set up one more law of cosine, just so you guys can remember how that looks. Okay. So again, law of cosine, like number 17, and, oh goodness, sorry, I don't know why this camera's acting all weird. So this is law of cosine, number 17. Okay, so, because I've got two, uh, I've got two sides and the angle in between. It looks very similar to the problems where you guys are um, looking for the area. Okay. So it looks very similar to that. And um, so it's pretty straightforward to set up. I'm going to look for x, y. So I'm looking for this side, z, uh, across from there. So it's going to be that side squared. So z squared equals the other two sides squared minus 2 times the two sides times cosine of the angle across from here, which is 119. Okay. Same idea for number 27. You've got to use law of cosine because you have all three sides. This is always going to be a law of cosines when you have all three sides like that. Okay, so the ones that look like you want to take the area, and the ones that are all three sides are going to have to be law of cosine. But you've got to be careful with the way you set it up. So I want to know, I want to know angle y. So if I want to know angle y, then when I start to set up this cosine rule equation, um, 7 has to be on the opposite side of the equal, so it's going to be 7 squared. That's that's the part that you all got to be careful with, is equal to the other two sides. Okay. Minus 2 times 8 times 9 cosine of uh, y. All right, this is what we don't know. So this angle and that side are a pair. So we always just got to make sure that that's set up correctly. Okay, and then you just solve from there. Uh, sorry I didn't have more time this morning and that I'm a bit nasally. But I will be back tomorrow. Deuces.